M0FXB, welcome to my channel. This is the Nano VNA 4 inch model. You can actually get these for about £45. It's quite a big screen. There are smaller versions here. It's going to be near £30 to get that. They pretty much work in the same way. And what they do is they test your antenna. So you would connect your antenna using an adapter like this, and it will tell you. A lot of information about the you know the signal it's receiving but for us you know what are we really interested in we're interested in our SWR let's face facts so let's just do this video in that way just turn this device on so this is how it comes out of the box looks great but there's a lot of information there that we're never going to use so let's start to configure this it does come with the items you're going to need to, to calibrate this item and you also get a stylus which is handy. It's all touch screen and it's a very high quality image as well. So let's tap the screen and the first thing you want to do is tap the screen, it goes all white and then it's display. Then trace, it says at the top there trace, tap that. And see the different colors, you've got purple, green, blue. We don't want to use those three for now. We're just gonna tap them until they vanish. And we're gonna focus on the yellow one, which is going to be SWR. Now we need to tell it to be SWR. If you look here, it says S11, okay? Uh, but it's not mentioning SWR. So we're gonna tap the screen again, a couple of times, go back here and look for the top one here, format S11. So we're gonna tell it what we want S11 to do. Tap that and go down until we see SWR. We just told it to be SWR and actually says there SWR. We'll hit the back button. Now we're gonna decide you know, what, we, what range of frequencies we want it to analyze. First thing you want to do is click, tap the screen and click stimulus. And the start frequency, it says start here. Tap that. We're gonna choose three megahertz, three, then M. And then we have to tap it again. Tap, stop. And then we're gonna do, do that again, stop. 15 megahertz. If you look at the bottom here now, it says start three megahertz, stop 50 megahertz. Now, you know, if you want to do a two meter antenna, you're gonna do 145 megahertz and so on and so on. On the right hand side here, see the way we've got the, the scale showing. So let's say our SWR could be three or 1.25. Now we need to tell it to do that. So we tap the screen go to go back until we see the word display then we're going to go to scale and we're going to click here show grid values and it's untick there you have to tick it and then go back and it will be there so you've got your grid values showing now we need to decide what divisions we're going to have in between so if you look here 1.25 1.50 1.752 so it looks like it's got a, I would say a 0.25 division. So tap the screen, then go to scale, scale division here at the top. And then we're gonna put in 0.25, enter. And you've got your divisions there. Now we need to calibrate, tap the screen, go back. Keep looking, if you get lost, just keep tapping and you'll find where you wanna go. You hit calibrate once, and then you wanna hit it again. And you don't tap open, start or load yet. First thing you wanna do is get your open connector. Now these are in the box and the open one looks like this and it's like a hole, okay? Hopefully you can see that. It's quite hard to view, it's quite small. And then you've got a gold one with a point, point there. And then this, this one is a 50 ohm one. It's got a point there. They call that the, the load. So put one on first onto port number one, the top port. We're not really using the bottom port. 
like screwing that on. That's the one with the hole in the middle, not the one with the point. And once you've got that in there, just tap open and it automatically will do it and then move to the next one. Okay, you get a blue line come across. It's done it, it's already gone down. It's ticked open and it's now saying to you, do the short. So you take it off, get the one that's called, that's called short, pointy one. You can actually buy these spare if you ever lose them. Put that on, tap the next one, short. You'll know when it's done because it'll come across blue and then it'll tick it. Now you can go all the way down here. We only actually need three for SWR. Um, the next one is, a, is basically a dummy load. It's pointy, but it's got uh, it's got some insulation inside it. Put that on and then we're going to click load. It's done. It. Now the next two are you would literally just get another dummy load one which i do actually have here you don't need to do this bit i don't think if you're doing swr but you'd screw another dummy load one here which i've got a couple spare and i recommend you get spare ones because you're going to lose them and you would click isolate and then the last one is through and through is basically connecting the two together. They do provide a lead in the box for that. I'm not gonna do it now, but they provide a lead in the box. It looks like this. And you join them together and you click through. Now to pass it, you just press done. Now you wanna save that. So if we go to tap it here. Now these are two previous ones that I've saved. Tap empty. And you've now saved it. To recall that, tap the screen, look for recall. If it's not on this screen, go back, recall. And look, we can choose. That's the one we've just done there. Okay, and it automatically does it. So all you've got to do now, this is the fun part now, is connect your antenna. So you just get your normal antenna, but you put this on it. Now, some people say, well, you should have calibrated it with the extension on first. Maybe. Okay, but... It doesn't, they're not going to make a massive difference. So this is a long wire, 49 to 1 band long wire. And again, to have things perfect, I'm sure there's a different way. But this is how I'm doing it today to demonstrate. And you're seeing that my long wire, and I, I've got two long wires. I'm going to try them both. At the top here, there is a, uh, a slot there for an SD card where you can save things. Also, this item can actually be connected to a PC and you can view all this information using a free program. That's a separate video. On off button at the top. USB-C charging there and I'm sure that will be your connection to your PC, but I'll, we'll learn that in another video. So, we just tap, you can use your fingers if you want. If you move the wheel, just rock, just hold your finger on it. It will take you up and down these peaks. I need to work out how to make the peaks smaller so I can see it better. Maybe it's just changing the, the gaps. But anyway, we, we're going to, this is okay what we're doing. So let's look at the frequency that's showing. Right now it's showing that we're on frequency. Have a look here. Is it 1.97? Let's move this. Yeah, you can see as it moves. We go all the way back and we're scanning from 3 megahertz to 15 megahertz. Yeah, you can see on this side M1, it's going up to 15. So if we scroll back to 7 megs, which is something I use all the time, we can scroll back or we can actually move it with this needle. It's showing you that my SWR is quite high. It's, a, it's up to three on the band that I would want to use, which is 40 megs. Okay, over three. Now, if I, for some reason, on six and a half megahertz, it's showing that it's fine. Uh, not really sure why, but it is. And it's also showing that on 13 megahertz, it's quite a low SWR. We go to 14, which is what we'd be interested in. It's not too bad. It's actually doing quite well. Now let's switch to my other antenna and see what that says. 
So this is another wire. Let's just have a look. So let's go to seven megs. So this is better, I would say. Look, showing a much better SWR. I've got a feeling this is the 49 to one balance one and the other one is a nine to one balance. But that's better, isn't it? And if I go across, look, even 20 meters, and this is actually the antenna I tend to use. I don't really use 80 meters, but let's go back to it because it's not it's not a very long wire and you need, you know, you need, I'd say you need 40 meter wire to for it to work okay on, well, let's just go to, if it'll get me there, will it get me there? Looks like it's not going to let me, ah, there it goes. It's not showing enough of the spectrum, so that's the thing I need to work out, is why I can't see three megahertz. So, oh, it's showing it there, I'm, I'm blind. Three megahertz is obviously off the scale for SWR, 3.7 is what we're interested in. So yeah, it's off the scale, so no good. So thanks for watching my channel, lots to learn, I'm brand new to this device and having fun. And then the other one we've got here, which I'll quickly connect as well. Now I had this one a long time ago, and I did learn how to use it, but that was literally like, I think it was actually pre-COVID. So we just, and I have calibrated it again. Exactly the same. I got this for about £26 delivered and it works really well and it has USB-C charging. And the back, I, I haven't used this for about a year and the battery still had charge in it. And that's how good they are. And there's the battery there, look. Um, so anyway, let's just see what it's saying. Let's turn it off and on a minute. I'm just faffing around here. Oh, it needs to be recalibrated. I can't remember if I say it stored any any calibration things there. You go to recall. Oh, it looks like I did. To 14 megahertz. Let's just tap one. But yeah, it's still off the scale now. So yeah, okay, I thought I'd show you. But yeah, this is a 2.8 screen model. Thanks for watching my channel. Learning as we learning together. M0FXB73, all the best.